okay hi everyone welcome to my channel again so this is the uh, linkedin test assessment series so in this series i'm gonna go to uh, i'm going to take the assessment text i mean the linkedin assessment test and also you guys can also take a preparation with it i think yeah so let's get into it so first thing today in this video i'm gonna take a mysql assessment test so let's get into it so first thing you have to go to the assessment sections and this is the mysql assessment and you can also practice if you want but i'm going to direct the main assessment actually so just i'm gonna click the start button and i am ready i think the diagram in the diagram below that the fields are declare the character instant which is not one of the positions that's been the decisions mm. so i hope this is the space saving the character 10 data type is more efficient than space saving Mm, the field it has leading which integer it's not and letter and not just the numbers you can have the consistent format across the tables and require added fields so i hope i'm gonna go with the second options so which query list the database on the current server the list the database show database query list okay the database on the current server show database list all database show db i think show db mm, no uh, show database i think so mm. on the current server yeah show database so just i googled and the show database actually so with uh, which statement can use to load data from a file into a table from a file into a table so that means load data in file why would you use the uh, stored function for a formula and the business rules that should be applied on the uh, specific triggered event like on insert i think this one uh, for formula and business rules that you want to apply and columns in an sql query and automatically modify the data of the table based on the query for reusing recurring queries so i think this one the first one Hmm, what is the product of the database designing phase? But what is the product of the database designing phase? Hmm, yeah, I think this one the constructing data types and cardinalities. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go with the first options so you need to run the complex query with recursions sub sequence but without creating a store procedure or the functions which command are close to you use without creating the stored procedure or function i think with with 
what is one region to reduce the data redundancy into a normalized database design to reduce the corruptions in data to make the system faster to reduce the store space to prevent the data and I think this one correction uh, corruptions in data and you are working with the tables and shows the this uh, diagram you need to make sure that any record added to the purchase purchases table consists of the customer's id okay mm, which already exists in the customer's table and the car id which already exists in the car's table you decided to use ticker to do that validations which one do you use i think cross join no if exist after insert before insert mm. um. which already exists in the customer table and the car id which already exists in the car table so maybe before insert i'm not sure mm. Okay, I'm gonna go with the before insert. So you are working with the table as shown in the diagram. You need to generate the list of all cars, okay? Uh, whether or not they had been sold. Hmm? With, the, with the purchase dates of the cars, that were sold which statement accomplish that car join no right join car purchase dot date from cars left join purchase on okay cars id and then purses Think this one inner join um, I'm going with the left join you are working with the table as shown in the diagram you need to generate the list of price totals for each make and models of cars with subtotal for each make and the grand total of all prices which sql clause uh, do you use with roll up uh, with the roll up what is the permission implemented Sorry, permission, yeah, permission implemented in MySQL. User setting, administration schema, access control list, access control list, encrypted. Mm -hmm. So it would be the access control list. you made uh, sorry you need to make an exact copy of a table with all columns and the indexes how can you get all of the information needed to the accomplish this Create table, insert into clone table. I think show table, show create table, show create table. Yeah. So, what is the correct uses of the enum in MySQL? Create table size.
this one a store routing is the set of my uh, sql statement store on the server and the text forms as either to proce uh, procedure or the functions which statement cannot be used inside store routines which statement cannot be used i think use Set select declare so use I think mm, you are managing a database with a table called customers you created a temporary table as called customers okay so same the customer and customers yeah so with which you working for the durations of your session so you need to recreate temporary table with the different specifications which command do you need to run first so which you working with for the duration of the session you need to recreate temporary table so first of all i'm gonna delete the temporary file and then um, I think drop temporary table yep okay so I earn the batch the MySQL assessment test pass as you can see here yep so yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.